I don't see any business doing well uh, if it refuses to serve black people. If you just force someone to behave in a way that they don't really feel in their heart, then you're not really fixing the problem. I'm sure everybody running a slaughterhouse doesn't feel in their heart any need to give a damn about the animal's rights, to treat them humanely or to spend the extra 10 cents to do it right. So we should just let them do what they feel, right? We shouldn't have any public policy that says, no, that's wrong, it's unproductive, it's stupid, it's wasteful, it's insipid behavior. No, we're not going to allow you to mistreat an animal just so you can sell your damn hot dogs. I mean, what the, what the fuck are you advocating? And like I said, there's no evidence that, 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 that the general population, the common denominator you complain about, will stand up against any of it. So you have no right or no rationale or no, no excuse whatsoever to make this argument that somehow it all will come out okay if we don't have a law. And somehow you don't think it'll come out all okay if we don't have a welfare law and a public education law and an environmental law. No, somehow those things can't be done by the public. The public can't wave its finger at the dirty polluter and say, I won't do business with you because you're a dirty polluter. So we have to have laws to do that shit, but we don't need a law to do the fairness in hiring and the fairness in public accommodation and the fairness in you know, being able to live somewhere in this country as an individual. You're just sweeping it under the rug. You're just saying it doesn't matter what you actually feel, but you have to act this way. And I think that's how... <laughs> yeah, that's about every friggin' law we have says that thing. It doesn't matter what you feel, you have to act. It doesn't matter if you think you can drive well when you're drunk. You're not allowed to drive when you're drunk. It doesn't matter if you think you're a competent driver, because we say you're not. That's why there's still racism today. And that's why I call you a fucktard, because if you think that's the origins of racism, laws that, that prevent it from actualizing itself and causing segregation and discrimination and ruining people's lives, if you think that is what's caused racism, you really are an idiot. If you make people confront each other, if you make people actually argue about these issues face to face, then I think eventually people start to come. Oh yeah, well people have argued it face to face. It doesn't do any good. That's like Christians and atheists arguing it face to face. What good is it going to do for you to sit there and argue face to face with Sarah Palin or whoever? It's not going to do you any fucking good. But if you just pass a law and say this is the rule, I think the people just put on one face in public and then they What the fuck is wrong with that? What the hell is wrong with that? What the hell's wrong with child molesters jerking off in their own living room to fantasies and not acting it out on the streets? I guess there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with keeping stupid behavior in people's living rooms and not allowing it to um, flow all over our fucking civilization. I mean, it's the reason why you have damn laws. I mean, if you can believe in laws for one reason, this cause is not like the 10th cause or the 40th cause or the 100th cause. This is like right up there at the top. There's no point in having law if you can't respect the fundamental right of people to be treated as fucking individuals. Harmful to a society, I think that's corrosive. And I know people disagree with me, or like in Mendham. And my problem with Mendham has never been that he disagree with me. It's been that he is uh, a total twat about it. Yeah, whatever. We, we had our argument before this issue even came up, okay? Yeah, I think you're a total twat about every subject. I mean, what, what, what argument do you ever present? What real substance do you ever fucking talk about?